This will be our very first foray into the Arctic biome in this playthrough. What could possibly go wrong? Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get into the Arctic. That's the plan. We're going to get some mushrooms, and we are going to see if we can break on through to uh, the Great River Valley. Uh, a couple things we need to do, though, before we go. So let's take a look. First of all, we have uh, some points here. Uh, 24, in fact. I've been doing a lot of mining and other things off camera. Uh, we want to get ourselves a heat bandage. Uh, for the Arctic. The other thing that I did is I did a little bit of looking up on the Icarus Wiki and I discovered that hot cocoa, which requires a thermos, um, it gives us the ver the best protection against cold. So we are going to make ourselves a thermos. I went out and got some cocoa and also have some planted in our garden. Okay, so um, I think that that's gonna you know 20 it, it gives it basically gives like 25 percent heat per, or uh, cold protection um and so that is going to along with the heat bandage if, if we need them uh should help us survive in the arctic um okay so we have severe winds i have noticed very minor damage to uh, the lower walls of the base over time um, so I think I am going to ultimately upgrade um, the entire base to concrete. And um, but before we do that, I wanted to get going on a an electric composter, and we should have everything we need to make that. So let's do that first, actually, while we got the store. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, let's finish our points. We still have 22 points to do here. Um, so we are just about pretty much at the point where we can just throw points into anything we want to um there's not really much point in doing biofuel drills because we have electric drills and wayfarer armor that's more for yeah that's desert exposure stuff which we, you know we don't need that because the composite armor that we're already wearing is fine for the desert uh so we've got some the glass stuff we could do especially if we want to do a greenhouse so that is on the list i'm just not sure if that's exactly what we want to do right at the moment we have some concrete stuff there too. Uh, the railings I'm eventually going to put outside uh, along the porch. But let's go to tier four, and I do uh, I do want to get the electric stove, the plumb sink, and the marble kitchen. Uh, the main reason I actually was looking on the wiki is based upon what I saw, and nobody has told me anything different in the comments yet. It does not look like the electric masonry bench allows you to make concrete. It still just makes the the stone stuff that the normal bench masonry bench makes but just you know at a faster rate so if that's the case then i'm not really uh, interested in that right now very low priority i guess um having some work lamps mm, i don't know again maybe situationally useful we don't really need air conditioners or heaters that's just not an issue at least where we live here portable beacon perhaps mildly useful no point in getting the radar or the extractor because we don't have exotics here on open world mode from what you guys were telling me uh, I've never been a big fan a uh, fan rather of the flashlight in this game now the spear though the spear is actually supposed to be pretty good uh, the only problem with the spear though is we have no points in it so you know there's just not really a whole lot left here I guess in tier 4 and I'm all that interested in, to be honest with you. Uh, we want to, you know, once we get the chem bench made, which is the next, after we make the um, the electric compost uh, uh, workstation, this will be the next one that we'll do. You know, then then we can start making the high quality fertilizer, which gives us more yield. Um, it makes it, the crops go a little slower, but we get more yield, which is fine with me. Okay, so let's jump back into tier three here. Um, since we're going to be pretty much doing concrete building I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get all that stuff uh, so we are now and we're gonna want that and a trapdoor okay so we are full-on concrete builder now um, I was thinking about maybe incendiary ammo perhaps so let's take a point in that let's start unlocking the glass stuff here 
and uh, we need the heavy glass window. We still have eight points. Yeah, let's just learn it all. Okay, so that leaves us with three points. Let's move back this way. Uh, smoke grenade, aluminum arrows. We don't need that because we just learned. Here, let's learn wine. Just for the hell of it. Wine and beer give you the same exact stuff in terms of any buffs. Cave scanner, meh, what the hell? That might be useful. Biofuel radar, nah, we don't need that stuff. We already got titanium hammer. I mean, I, su I suppose Binox could be useful. And a parasitic pill could be useful. Blood thinning pill could be useful. But if we're going to do this, we need to get the, the tonics first. And the tonics probably require the pace. I was going to try a water bomb to see, you know, how well that works against forest fires. What else do we have in back here in Tier 2? Oh, you know what? Those don't require the pace. So we could get in a parasitic and blood thinning, I suppose. Uh, or we could do strength. What does this do? More health and stamina and pretty good melee damage. Rustic decoration bench. A bench for crafting items from the rustic decor set. Hmm, that could be fun to play with, maybe. Um, I know we could do fur armor, but I'm going to try and see if we can get away with not using fur armor so we can you know keep our armor protection from our composite armor and then just use the cocoa and if needed the heat bandages uh, to combat that oh we do want I do want this some of this furniture stuff so uh, let's go ahead and get the table and then I'll also get the chair um, for sure and then I don't know maybe some of those other things too okay so that spends all of our points fantastic uh, all right, now let's see here. What's next? We're gonna have to wait. The storm is almost finished. Oh, uh, so let's make ourselves a thermos or three. So I don't know how long the buff will last when we drink the cocoa. So I'm thinking let's make four of these. We should have a bunch of glass in here. Uh, this cabinet is full of copper and iron and steel. So, yeah, let's make four of these. I just don't remember, like I said, how long that buff's going to last. And this is for survival in the Arctic. So we'll do four. And, um, well, you know what we could do, actually, I suppose? We could make the cocoa now. Uh, where do we do that at, by the way? We make that in here. Yeah, we make it in here. So, oh wow, that takes 20 seed. Okay, 300% water. Oh, for 900 seconds. Oh, that's a long time, actually. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't need any more than four of those then. That might even have been more than we need... Uh, okay, cool. So I have in here, um, well, only 42 cocoa seeds, but I did plant some out here in the garden. I added uh, four more uh, of the iron crop plots and then pushed this stuff back. Is this ready? No, it's not. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and, and harvest the these anyways. So it looks like I'm either A, going to have to go out and get some more wild cocoa, or I'm going to have to hang out here at the base and wait until, yeah, none of this stuff is ready. Uh, our current crop matures so I can harvest that. Um, kind of, I don't know if I want to wait that long. Not sure if that's what I want to do. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go out and make uh, or harvest some more cocoa so that we can fill up our four thermoses. So we need a total of uh, oh, 20. Okay, so we need a total of 80 to make four. So we have 42 already. Fair enough. 
Okay, let's put these in here. And, um, yeah, okay, so, yeah, I'm just gonna go out and get some wild cocoa. I'll bring you guys back uh, when I get back to the base and we'll go from there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and grab our cocoa here. And we are going to make four uh, thermoses of this. So we put those in there and those in there. Oh my goodness. Uh, does it really take that long to make? Oh. Hmm. Okay. I guess it's kicking in. We can't make those in here, huh? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so, yeah, we'll wait for those, and let's get our bandages topped off to 10. I like to have 10 bandages on me in uh, five suture kits. And we want to make uh, three of these. And we're going to need 50 more, or, well, however many more we need to make one more. <laughs> Got that taken care of. Uh, I'm gonna bring my platinum knife as a backup. Um, just because when I'm out for a long period of time, I've noticed that my my knife runs out. Uh, cause just because I use it a lot, you know, for scanning and stuff like that. Uh, so let's get the rifle repaired. We'll get the compound bow fully repaired. Uh, I think we're fine on the uh, the sickle. How's our armor look? Yeah, it's in pretty good shape. I think it, I think the armor's probably fine. Uh, okay, so we got the one ten Celsius to temperature. Okay. Oh, and it also reduces food consumption, which is good for cold environments as well, so... Okay, so let's see. We might as well get this topped off too. These uh, oxygen tanks last a, a really long time, so that's a nice thing. Uh, let's make sure we're going with uh, at least 100 bullets in the inventory. So, um, oh, what, what's wrong with my monitor? Keeps, uh, there we go. Uh, no, over here. 98? Okay, 98 is close enough. Make sure that's loaded up. Okay. Uh, you guys were telling me in the comments, don't even bother aiming and confirming that it is just broken as all get out. Just use the the white dot shoot from the hip, and I think that's what I'm, I'm going to do. Uh, at least until they fix that. That's a shame, though. I mean, that really should work better than it does, but hopefully that's something they'll fix. Uh, okay, so let's see. We have three lanterns. They're all fully charged. We have two water canteens. We've got some antibiotics and some anti -po Oh, yeah, we need to make the heat bandages. I think we just do that in our own inventory. Heat bandage. So we need fiber, oxide, and charcoal. Um, okay, so let's grab some fiber out of here. And we have lots of charcoal. Uh, here, we'll grab some charcoal out of here. Crack one there, and uh, oxide. We have a bunch of that in here. Okay, so I want to make. Yeah, I want to make ten. Let's make ten heat bandages. And so I think between the cocoa, the heat bandages, and what we already have, which is we have fifty percent cold resistance, just you know with our armor and everything, uh, we shouldn't have any trouble surviving the Arctic. Uh, unless we're going to get a really, really, really bad storm, but, you know, that's what caves are for, I suppose. And, uh, yeah. Okay. How are we doing here? Just waiting for that last one to finish. Okay. Let's put the oxide back in here. And let's put this charcoal in here. And I've been making uh, poison paste just because I had so much rotten meat, and we made some more gunpowder here. Let's throw that in there and grab an iron ingot. 
We'll just make a few more bullets. So we have that full hundred and and then a few more. Oh yeah, incendiary rounds. We were gonna try those. Um Okay, 250 to 250 projectile damage. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's uh it's 50 less just straight up damage, but it does have the fire damage. So I don't know if that's ultimately better or not, to be honest with you. So I think what we're going to do is let's just make some more normal rifle bullets. And uh, we'll have a few extra because I have a feeling we're probably going to be using a rifle, you know, quite a bit against the polar bears. Uh, we have 20 uh, composite arrows. Those only have a 5% break chance. Uh, plus, I got that buff now that highlights them. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have cooked the bacon in there. Darn it. All right. That was a mistake. I should have cooked it in here so it was crispy bacon. Yeah, I'm not, e not even interested in normal bacon. So I think what we'll do is we'll just put it in here and let it spoil. And then we can make more poison paste later on if we need to. Okay. So I think we're in pretty good shape uh, to go. Uh, let's... Uh, we're going to take one of the emus with us um oh, oh that's frustrating they all just run out uh we need to probably top them off in their trough too and let's go back out here for a second no you stay in there how close are these to being done just out of curiosity they're getting really close okay what time of day is it it's 1454. You know what? I might... You know what I think I'm going to do, you guys? I think I'm going to just hang out at the base until tomorrow morning. Uh, just so we, you know, get started with a full day. But my plan is we're going to take one of the emus um, and I'm going to park the emu inside of the cave that leads into the Arctic. I'm not going to take the emu into the Arctic because... Um, well, I don't know. I might. But let, let's... Uh, this this is going to sound terrible, but the emu is expendable. <laughs> so if it dies, it dies. You know, it's just the way it goes. Um, but you, the thing is, is I didn't want to have to manage the emu while I'm in the Arctic. But maybe we'll try it anyways. And like I said, if it, if it succumbs, it succumbs. Okay, these are done. Great. Okay, so we got eight of those. And four of those. Wow. Like half as many on that one. Okay, we got five on those. It's very random, isn't it? And eight on those. Okay, so let's replant. Oh, do I not have to replant these? No, I don't. So... Why is it that when I pick every other crop, I have to replant it, but these, I don't. I don't get it. That doesn't make any sense to me. That seems inconsistent. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know about these things. Um, the other reason why it would be beneficial for me to wait is then I can harvest these crops again before I leave because chances are some of them, especially the soybeans, will probably die before we get back, which is fine. I mean, I got plenty more soybeans in the fridge, so it's not that big a deal. And um, I just topped these off too, so we should be fine on fuel. All right, so I will see you guys in manana, and we will... You turkeys. And we will um, set out and do our first foray into the Arctic. Okay, so see you in the morning. All right, guys, it is morning, and I believe we are ready to go. So uh, I replaced the fuel in the generator that's keeping the refrigerator going. That's the important one. And uh, everything else is not a big deal. Buddy, three ver uh, three version 3.0. What the heck are you doing, man? Get in here. Okay, and we are taking um, Liberty Mutual with us. Actually, Liberty Mutual's sort of damaged. Um, that's because we had a Jaguar or a wolf, I think, spawn in here. Um, yeah, he'll be okay. 
So let's jump on Liberty. And our goal is to go into the Arctic, check it out, get some mushrooms, and see if we can break on through to the other side. I have an... Oh, you know what, though? I have a stack of berries in the other emu. So I was going to take that one. Uh, but let's just grab the... No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Daggone it. Um, whoop. get out of the way. Come on, move out of the way so I can get my berries. There we go. <laughs> oh, uh, these guys should have, yeah, they've, they've got plenty of food in there, so they're good to go. And, um, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna lose some, some props, but let's just, the way it works, I suppose. Is anything actually ready to harvest? Yeah, you know what? Let me let me just harvest these really quick. All right, I think we are now ready to go. Uh, Liberty Mutual got caught up in the spikes and got damaged even more, so we're taking two. Tu two. All right, two. Let's go. This will be our very first foray into the Arctic biome in this playthrough. What could possibly go wrong? All right, guys, we are in the cave that leads us to the Arctic biome. Uh, these caves have definitely reset at some point because uh, I completely cleaned out all of the ore uh, from these caves off camera uh, a few you know a while back so yeah they appear to have reset okay we have a medium snow a weather event I don't yeah the weather doesn't actually affect us we just get the sound effects uh, because we don't have any exposure but we'll just go uh, all the way to the other end of the cave and then we'll just wait out the storm here do want to try and avoid uh, getting in the water itself. Uh, I'm not sure how that would affect me while I'm on the mount. Okay, so we're just going to wait here until the storm blows over and then we'll proceed. Okay, the worst of the storm is over. Let's go ahead and consume a hot cocoa. Uh, so that'll reduce our food consumption and give us plus 10 Celsius to temperature protection. And then off we go. Okay, so this is our first time here in the snow biome. We got a bunch of Arctic, wol Arctic wolves around, but we're just gonna ignore them. That's a big ice wall there. And I don't know if this snow biome has polar bears in it or snow leopards. I know in, on Olympus, uh, some of the snow biomes have snow leopards and some of them have polar bears. I'm not sure how this one works. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to here and see if we can get through here. And if not, then we'll travel over to here and see if we can get through there. And if that's blocked, you know, then... We'll see if we can get through all the way up here. There's like four different places we could potentially go. And I, I'm i hoping that they're not all blocked. So you guys were telling me in the comments that this is the way to go to get through. This being, you know, going through the Arctic. Wow. How do we get back up here if we go down this way? I guess we can... I guess we can jump back up this way, right? We have to? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure we can get back up. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in great shape, temperature-wise. We're in really good shape. Okay. We don't even have the, the, you know, cold buff anymore. 
All right, so we want to keep our eyes peeled for caves, but even if we do find a cave right away, we're not going to go in it. We'll do that on the way back. Because if I pick mushrooms now, you know, they'll start to spoil. And um, I don't want them that to happen until we, we're ready to come home. Okay, so this is a significantly steeper cliff here. And definitely... This is definitely not the way to go. Uh, but I'm, there's got to be a path. Yeah, it looks like there might be a path coming down through this way. Oh, come on, game. Quit the lag, businessman. Knock that off. I haven't seen any polar bears yet. Just wolves. So I'm wondering if this is a wolf and snow leopard biome and no polar bears. Okay, so if we jump down there, how do we get up from here? Let's go over this way. Hmm. Okay. That's a little... A little bit sketchy. I'm not seeing an obvious way to get up or down. We gotta deal with this wolf. It's been a pain in the neck. Here, you follow me. And actually, too, uh, let's uh, top your food off. And um, let's also give you some water, too. Okay. Okay, so let's go this way. I don't know where that wolf went. But is this the way we can get down? Does not look it. Does not look like that's the way at all. How interesting. Hmm. Okay. There's got to be a way to get down from here and then get back up, more importantly. <laughs> so damn leggy here. the side of the cliff just from the lag. Okay. Uh, do these guys give us anything different than just the normal stuff? That uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm going to take that and that. I'll leave the rest of it there. Let's go back this way. So when we get to here, I'm not sure where we go. Is that? No, that's nothing. Yeah, see, I don't know how I would get back up here, you guys. If I fall, if I drop down there, I mean, I'm committed. Um, 
And I'm not sure what to do about that. I mean, I suppose we could build a ramp to get back up. But that just seems weird that, you know, that there wouldn't be a pathway to get up and down from here. I've never seen that before, uh, at least not on the Olympus map. Is there a cave that leads out? Hmm. It kind of looks like a cave over there, but it's just a graphical glitch thingy. And then, you know, what happens when we get over there? Because that looks like that might be a drop-off, too. Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. Um, let's get back on the bird. I'm going to go <coughs> back up this way and just see if there's maybe some kind of a cave or a passageway that would allow us to get, th get through here. Um, I don't think that's a cave there. We've already been along this way, I think. Let's go over by these trees. In fact, that looks like a cave dead ahead. Uh, let's go investigate that. Stamina is depleted. I have two um, I have two thatch ramps on me because I was you know I, I usually carry those anyways and I wasn't expecting to need them here let's put uh, that down there Let's go into this cave here. Uh, Liberty, are you following me? <sighs> if I need to make a campfire, crafting. Oh, go here. Why is my crafting menu all screwed up? Uh, we need sticks and fiber, so let's run over here real quick. I don't think we're going to be able to get any fiber over here. We can get sticks, but not fiber. Yeah, so that's a thing. I mean, again, I was not expecting to have to hang out in the Arctic for any particular length of time. Well, let's go back to this cave. And see where it goes. Maybe that's what we need to do. This doesn't look like um, the old Arctic caves, the ones that I remember. It looks like a normal cave. Yeah, this is just a normal cave. You know what? I'm not wasting an arrow on those guys. Let's go. Well, okay. I'm not sure what to do here. I can't make any more ramps without more fiber. Hey, are you following me? Come on, man. It's getting late. We don't have time for this. Let's go. Okay, well, I have two choices. I either turn around, go back to the base, uh, or even just into the desert enough to make and get enough to make a bunch of thatch ramps. 
Or we just go on, and if we can get to the forest, then we can make thatch ramps to get back later. Uh, what time is it? It is 15.44. And also, I'm a little bit disappointed with that, that cave, because that's not an arctic cave with mushrooms in it. That's just a normal cave. So what's up with that? Okay, well, I think the smart move <clears throat> is to go back to the desert, um, make a bunch of ramps, thatch ramps, and then come back, and that way we know we can we can get back out of here when the time comes. Uh, I think that's what we need to do. That is what we shall do. But guys, unfortunately, we are out of time in this episode. I was kind of hoping we'd get, you know, into the Arctic and at least get, you know, some mushrooms and stuff before we wrapped up this episode. But it doesn't look like the game's going to let us do that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go back to the desert. Like I said, I'll make a bunch of ramps and then we'll start up the next episode. And we will then proceed from there. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.